flash mobs, spontaneous gatherings of people in one location have broken out across Sao Paulo's shopping centers in recent weeks. Organized by underprivileged youth, these mobs in Brazil's biggest city have prompted a heated discussion over racial and social discrimination. CCTV's Paulo Cabral reports. Shopping malls are an essential part of life in Sao Paulo. This carefully controlled environment became a true comfort zone for a middle class scared by the chaos of the city outside, with its heavy traffic, difficult parking, urban violence, pollution and poverty. That's one reason why the so-called Rolezinhos, a flash mob announced on Facebook, caused such a strong reaction and attracted so much attention here. They're attended by thousands of teenage boys and girls, mostly from São Paulo's poor neighborhoods. These flash mobs have not started as a form of political protest per se, but in the end it's political activism somehow. In a sense, these kids are claiming their space in the city, in the consumption market. They want to be acknowledged. At times they've evolved into disturbances even store lootings, which is why a week ago one mall managed to secure a court order forbidding the Rolezinhos. Then, on Saturday, police used force to keep the teens away. The mall and the authorities were accused of racial and social discrimination. The Rolezinhos, the flash mobs, may have started as a spontaneous action of the youth from poor suburban areas of Sao Paulo. But they gave birth to something very different, to political groups that see this as a protest against what they perceive as a social and racial apartheid in Brazilian society. We are fighting against the, the racism acts that have been going on and on and on since the Rolezinhos began. And we are giving our solidarity to the people. And now that people like me, young people, black people, poor people, are having the, are, they have the power to buy things, they are forbidden to walk in. Brazil's lower middle class expanded considerably over the last decade, and many are now able to enter the spaces that before were reserved only for wealthier people. As more Bolezinhos are being planned, tensions could lead to more clashes ahead. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, São Paulo.